kind of burn my mouth. It's so crappy out. Wash away all that snow mold. Are we ready to get sewing? Am I ready to get sewing? Hi everyone, welcome back to It's Sewing On. As promised, I am finally doing another sewing video today. I've had so much fun in the last two videos just exploring the antique sewing machines, but I'm actually ready to sew. I am not going to be using the antique machines, I'm just going to be using my regular machine, but I will be using those eventually. So we're officially into spring and you know that because for the past few days and the forecast predicting for the next few days is rain. I've been really loving all the cottage core sort of prairie style dresses so I really want to make my own and the pattern I have in my collection that is kind of screaming out to me right now is McCall 7870. I'm really loving this dress. I absolutely love the puff sleeves. I like the length. It also has the ruching just above the bust area, which is very prairie style right now. I'm thinking this is going to make a really cute spring dress. The one I'm most interested in is E. I really like E because I obviously love the bow detail. It's one of my favorite things. I have a lot of dresses that already have it, so it's just my thing. So I got this pattern a little while ago. I think I got three for $1.99 at a thrift store. The dress is too small for me as is. I'm going to have to size up. I cheated and already cut up all my pattern pieces last night, so I didn't really go into much detail about how I did it. I just did the slide over method. I basically measured all the pattern pieces to make sure there was enough fabric there to fit me. This is already an oversized dress, so technically the pattern pieces already did fit. So I didn't have to add that much extra, but I did add on some. Again, I didn't go into any detail about this because I don't really want to give advice on something that I don't know if I'm doing correctly. So if I end up doing it and it looks nice and I'm happy with it, I'll definitely make a video going more into that. But right now I kind of just want to try it out for myself, see how it goes, and then maybe do a follow-up video on how exactly I do it once I get better at doing it. So the fabric I chose, I already showed in one of my last fabric haul videos. I'm not sure which one it is, but whatever one's showing up there, that's the one it's in. It was $5.99. I ended up, when I cut the fabric out last night, obviously I realized that there was enough fabric there. So I think it's gonna work out really well. And it is a fabric that I absolutely love. It's navy blue and has white flowers on it. I'm really hoping this dress turns out. A little nervous that it's not going to, but I've already cut it out, so here we are. So I'll show you all the fabric, I'll show me cutting it up, and we'll get putting this dress together. wake up and choose biting? What the heck? <gasps> oh. <laughs> no. Do you think I can get through? Oh, gross. She has your mustache. She has your mustache. Ow, my eye. <laughs> She's so cute, but so freaking deadly. Pure chaos in the cutest little package. <laughs> You're no help either. Oh, I'm exhausted. This has literally just been nine minutes of dogs everywhere interrupting. Okay. Wrangled. Ow! So I realize this pattern's like 39 years old. I completely get that. And also, you know, it doesn't say very easy, which I mentioned. Because a lot of the patterns I do do are the very easy ones. But like... Does very easy mean that the directions are correct and not very easy? It just means like figure it out on your own because after cutting this, I ended up going to bed and then like halfway through the night, I just woke myself up thinking I didn't cut a back facing for anything. So whenever I got up, now I'm checking. And if I look on the layouts, it says that for dress E that I'm using, you do need 
piece seven, which is the collar. And it also says, you know, you need number six, the pattern piece for the tie collar. And then it just says pin collar to neck edge, but it doesn't actually use the collar number like it did the number six. It doesn't say number seven. It just says collar. So obviously I can put two and two together, but on the actual collar piece, it only says C or D, not E. Anyways, that's just one thing that I've noticed. I'm sure there's going to be more. I'm pretty sure there was something else I noticed while I was... Don't you bite that. And this is piece seven. So I know that is the piece that you need for the layout in dress E. <sighs> Try to say something. Probably won't work. straightforward to be honest uh although it's terrifying because I'm afraid to ruin this fabric it's too late because I've already cut it so we're just gonna go with it so basically what I have to do is gather the front and back sections of the skirt and then attach that to the front and back sections of the yoke which is pretty easy it's actually basically very similar to the dress that I made for my new year's eve dress so nothing new obviously I haven't made a full shift dress yet and I'm kind of worried about that but but yeah the collar the neck the tie it's all the exact same steps as that dress so it's nothing new there so I'm gonna go finish the outer edges attach the yokes together and then we'll do the facing and hopefully this little maniac will be gone by then so I can actually get things done ready to go basically all I did was go around the facing on all the edges on the outside with my serger then I folded it in half and I pressed it to get that center line now I've matched it up with both of my shoulder seams and all along the collar matching all of my notches then I pinned everything down in place so it doesn't move so the center line does match up with the center of the dress and then basically I just did my chalk line all outside of the center line because this is going to be my stitching line this is my stopping point and then up again this way once I've done the stitches I take my scissors and I cut all along this center line then the facing goes all the way on the inside and then I stitch it up to the top and that's basically the front of the dress <laughs> Line. So it's basted together at the top, all along up here on both sides. Whoops. You good? And now I have to attach the back yoke to the front. I have to attach it to the shoulder seams. Sleeves are in. Now it's time to put on the tie and the collar. So I have the tie here. I have already sewn it all around the edges. I've pressed it, turned it inside out, and it's all good to go. And I have the facing. I'm 
But why do you need P7? P7 is the collar. Dress E. P7. No seven on any of the layouts. Not crazy. Collar six. Does that not look like there's another collar on top of it, even though it doesn't say that there is? But then here, it just says to sew the free edge of the collar of the tie over. P7, C or D, no E on here at all. And now that I have the tie on, this piece gets pressed over and then you sew it, hand sew it into place. Why do I need P7? Do they not have pattern testers in 82? So I'm actually really excited to do the sleeves because you do it all open and you sew all along from the bottom all the way up the sleeve in one motion. So you actually assemble the sleeve while the dress is open and the sleeve is open. So you're not actually doing it in like a 3D sort of in the circle, in the round. I don't know. You're actually just doing it flat, which I've never done before. But it's so funny because I read about this about a week ago. Someone says that they only do their sleeves like this. So I'm really excited to try this and I had no idea until I read the pattern that that's what I was doing here. So I'm pretty excited to try this. So I have my sleeves all ready to go. I've basted the top of them. So now I'm just going to put them on the dress. Back again. So my whole plan was to do dress E, this white one with short sleeves. I don't know what I was thinking when I was cutting because I cut long sleeves. Wait, I actually need that. So now I guess I'm doing a hybrid between dress A and E. It's what the is the deal? deal? But the problem with a lot of patterns that I've made that are long sleeves is I've got really long arms and they never fit me. So I could just go and cut off, I, I even did the gathers. How did I not notice that that's not a short sleeve? So I kind of want to see how they look and maybe I'll either do maybe a three quarter length sleeve. So it just goes past my elbow or maybe it'll be just down here a little bit. I'm not sure. I guess I'm just going to go with the mistake and try to see how long they are. If they look crazy, I'll cut them off before I put on the cuff. But let's just go with it. I tried the dress on off camera, ended up hating how the placement of the sleeves were, so I took apart the whole dress, recut the top of the sleeves, took about a half inch off both shoulders, and put everything back together again. Okay, so. I put the sleeves back on, did up the sides again. I surged everything. It's looking pretty great. I've tried it on. Obviously I already knew the sleeves were going to be too short for me, but I really don't want it to be a short sleeve anymore. So I think I want to do a three quarter length sleeve. So I have cut out the cuffs already, but since I already cut out a spare piece anyways, you know what? I think I want to try something different. 
I think I'm going to turn this into a kind of ruffle sleeved. I've never done it before. I've never worked with elastic, but I already followed half of the step of clipping this because this is where the button was supposed to go and the cuff attached. So I'm thinking if I just fold this up, make a channel, throw some elastic in there, it will give me a nice ruffle sleeve and I can make it a bit shorter if I want or I can pull it to three quarter lengths if I want. So I think I kind of want to give that a shot. Again, no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to give it a go. So what I've decided to do is I've flipped this over and this measures just under two and a quarter. So underneath I have that little slit right over here. And I could cut into that to make it more equal, but I think I'm just gonna make the channel for the elastic on the very edge where my serger edge is and then where I've reinforced this line. Yes, you'll be able to see the elastic on the inside, but really I don't care. I don't wanna lose any more length of the sleeve because I do like the option of making it shorter or longer. And I want this ruffle on the top to be equal. So I think, this is what I've decided to do. So everything, like I said, is two and a quarter. I'm gonna do one stitch on the very edge where the serger is, all the way around the sleeve. And then I'm going to do another stitch. My elastic is half an inch, so just over half an inch under, and then make a channel, and then I'll feed the elastic through this little spot here. Don't know how this is gonna turn out, but you know what, for the amount of trial and error for this dress already, I might as well just give it a shot and see how it works. I have my elastic through. I'm thinking I want to turn them in this way. Because if I just sew them together like this, that means this is going to be poking out this way and probably rubbing against your wrist or forearm. So I think I'm just going to spin them towards each other and kind of sew them together like this. So then that way they're sitting more flat against your wrist. And then I think I'm also going to flip it open this way and then do one more stitch through just so it's lying flat. I don't know if that's too many steps for elastic. I don't really use it often, so I'm not sure. I even did a zigzag stitch down the two ends. I don't know if that's extra, but I just wanna make sure that this holds up. So now my elastic is sewn together. Seems pretty secure. <laughs> and then now I'm just going to, I don't want it, the edge to be right in the middle, so I'm just gonna kind of move this over, hopefully. Oh, wow, it actually, you can barely see it. I'm sure once your arm is in there, you'll see it a bit more, but I hope this works out. I'm gonna go try it on and then I'm gonna do the hem and then we will have the reveal. this dress honestly it's like something I've already pulled out of my closet because it matches what I normally go for so well so I'm so happy I found this pattern and I'm 
I just love these sleeves. I think I'm going to be doing this on a lot of dresses, even if they don't call for it, because I love the ruffled, stretchy sleeve. You can pull it down or you can bring it up. And I think it just gives such a cute little detail. So I'm really happy I went with that instead of doing the button cuff. This is just like, chef's kiss to me. It's uh, my favorite detail of the dress by far. I don't own dresses that actually have this type of ruching above the bust. It's not something I normally go for, but it actually really works with this dress and I think I like it more than I thought I would because of the bow detail. So at least there's a little bit of a break because I find sometimes this ruching can get really heavy, especially on my body type. So I don't always generally go for it. But for this dress, I'm really happy with it. I definitely need to wear a belt with it. I find, if I take it off, because it is pretty big and it kind of gives me the whole Ebenezer Scrooge nightshirt vibes. <laughs> so you definitely need to wear that. I do have some leftover fabric. I'm not sure if it's enough to make a belt. I'm going to have to double check, but I can just throw on a belt of my own and it looks really cute. And I, I just really like the dress. I'm super happy with it. I am happy that I pulled it apart and redid the sleeves because they just weren't aligning. They were really far down on my shoulder, so I like that this is up higher. Again, I think I could have went just a smidge higher, but at the same time, it's pretty close to where I want it, and they're very even. So all in all, I'm really happy with it. And I ended up going back, and since I had cut the cuffs already, I ended up pinning them together and making myself a scrunchie so it matches with the dress as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a like and I hope you subscribe. I will see everybody on Monday for my next video. I feel like a drowned rat. Everything's so wet. Really need to find a place that I can take reveal shots inside. I am going to be, oh, my neighbors totally just walked by and saw me. Oh, that's fun. Oh my god, my face is burning. Live <laughs> cheapers. What is my hair doing today? Wow. It's hot. Why can't I say it? Oh, I feel so soaked right now. 7870. Well that didn't work. <laughs> Nope. Do you think that was good enough? I don't know.